Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or whatever you're doing out there folks. I guarantee one thing, we're going to try to add to it. And if you like roguelikes and roguelites, and boy, if you're hanging out here, I'm willing to bet that you do. I've got great news for you. That's all we play here on the channel, every single time. I'm glad you're out here with us, folks. I am glad to be here. I love creating content on this channel. And today happens to be a day off of work for me. We've kind of gotten to that point in the year where I take a look at my stored up vacation days and I go, holy smokes, that's a lot of days. Better start taking days. And so about a week ago, I opened up the calendar and started putting in for time off requests and uh, I think I put in for about oh 13 days or so I mean I had a I had a lot sitting out there so I have today and tomorrow off and I thought you know what here's what I'd like to do I'd like to sit down I'd like to brew up some great coffee. Oops, we don't want to be doing that. I'd like to brew up some great coffee. And I'd like to have an awesome run in Dome Keeper. Because I really, really enjoy this game. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're just going to kind of chill out. And see what we can see. I think it'll be a good run overall. Speaking of good run, let's try and make it a good run by being on our game. Especially when we start to get attacked. Gotta do it. If this is your first time seeing Dome Keeper, uh, this is a really neat game. I, I would say that it is a action roguelite with mining. What we're trying to do here is come up with various resources that are going to allow us to expand both our defensive capabilities and our mining capabilities so that, ooh, can't hold all of those. So that when we go through those attack phases, uh, we'll be able to smoke the alien scum that are trying to break our dome. And when we're in the mining phase, we'll be able to mine with the best of them. I actually played this game in the past and loved it. And it just kind of got away from me, as games sometimes do. Games kind of come in and out of our lives at times. I'm, I'm sure that you would agree with that. Being that we all have these gigantic lists of games that we want to get to, and I know, I know I'm not any help with that. I'm a bad influence. All right, let's upgrade first if we can. The nice thing is this slows down time a little bit. All right, we can't yet do that, but I like the aim line, actually. So let's go with that. And then we're gonna man our battle stations here. But our ultimate goal is to get down here and recover an artifact. And once we do that, and we bring it back up to our dome, we go through like a final battle phase and that takes you toward the ending sequence of the game. It's all quite enjoyable. So I thought, hey, this would be a great game to play 
on my day off just to chill out with a cup of coffee. Boy, we've got to build up our speed and carry strength, I think, as the next thing we do. You can almost feel the weight of it all because of how slow. You know, it's kind of like when you're over encumbered in the Fallout games and, and you just feel like your legs have literally fallen off. It's kind of like that. All right. So let's go with carry strength. And then let's get right back down there and grab the rest of our resource find. And I think the next thing we'll do is some speed for our little miner guy. Because that'll make a huge difference too. All right, we've got to get back up top side. If you look down in the left there, there is a timer that I have neglected <laughs> to follow. And that's why we're getting attacked right now by these two dudes. Uh, let's just take a quick gander here. I don't think there's anything we want to do off the top of my head. All right. So we're going to sit down here and see if we can take these guys out without taking too much damage. There we go. Of course, I'm still out here really enjoying this cup of intelligentsia that I've been talking about. This is a roast called El Diablo. We've got notes of black molasses and cola and cacao. Today, I'm actually enjoying it with just a splash of oat milk. I, I really like oat milk and coffee. I think it just adds a nice creaminess to it. I like the flavor profile. So anyway, if you've got a cup going, cheers to you. And cheers to you anyways. Hope you're having a good day out there. Now I did uh, modify the game from last time. I set the map to medium size so that we could have a little bit longer of a run. I thought, well, maybe that'll let us experience some of the other upgrades that we didn't get to last time. Okay, we've got quite a few resources going here. Let's see if we can get out of here with all these and on our way we'll clear all right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to let one of those go. We gotta speed things up. Maybe we'll let another one go too, as we are officially getting attacked. The goat is not doing a great job of keeping an eye on the timer today. Uh, maybe I need to have more coffee. I think maybe that's what's going on. All right, let's see if we want to upgrade anything here. I think we will go ahead and upgrade the laser beam. We're going to need that. We'll go right into our attack. All right, the dome is looking uh, kind of broken. But... That's okay. We can use the water resource, actually, if I'm remembering right, to repair the dome, and we'll do that. I I, I think it'll be okay. It's going to be okay. Have faith. Oh, look at this. What is that? Well, we grabbed something there. I'm not sure what that did. See if we can grab all these. Yeah, that'll work. We'll knock out some of this stuff that's in the way on our way up. I think we're going to go for some speed this time. And we'll look at repairing while we're up here, too. Okay, so repairs are over here. Here? Yes, okay, so we might have to open up this first, which is fine. Then we'll do one of these. Oh, we don't have to, okay. 
And uh, yes, let's do speed. And then let's get right back down there. All right. Now I will keep an eye on the timer. Have to do a little bit better of a job of that. Grab these. Knock this out with our remaining time. To clean things up a little bit. Why not, right? Okay. Just want to take one more look at this. Yeah, let's do that. And I don't mind that either. I actually like the best path to go. Okay. I don't know why it didn't trigger the repair last time. But there it goes. Uh, we could look at the shield strength as well in the future. But for now, let's keep going here. We've got just a shred of time left. We'll come right over here. And now we'll head back up. Alright. I am glad we have the targeting feature where it shows you where your beam's gonna go because when those flying guys show up that actually becomes more of a challenge because they're so much further out Ooh, nice to find a supply of ore so close to the entrance of our dome let's see if we can find a little bit more going out this way. Alright, maybe we're coming into something? Hey, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we can pretty healthily carry six at a time. If we go more than that, we kind of start to feel that drag quite a bit. Wonderful. All right, let's take a quick look here at what we want to do next. I could definitely see a play for speed. Why don't we do that? And then probably what we'll want to do from there is something for our defense again. And just kind of try and spread it out equally. All right, all right, all right, I know. Hold on, let's grab that too. We've got the speed, we can do it. There we go, look at that. What a difference. Look at how on time we are, look at this. What a difference. Oh, look at that, he was nice enough to just pop on over there. Holy moly. All right, probably makes sense just to let him cruise back over to this side. There we go. All right, you know what? I do want to check. Well, all right, we'll let it go. I was thinking about popping off some health real quick, but maybe we'll do that before we start the next battle wave. Because we are in the money now. Oh, we've got something happening here. So these big chips, when you bring them back, they offer usually a nice passive resource. I don't know what this is going to end up being, but that looks like it'll be something too. Let's go ahead and pop this back up here and see what's on offer and then we'll go back down there and scoop up the other resources that we left. Install a laser that auto targets and stuns monsters, that sounds wonderful. A meter showing the distance to the nearest resources. I mean, that's really good too. All right, I'm gonna go with the stun laser. Goat's gonna look for some support. 
with the battling. Stun laser sounds A-OK. -okay. This is a medium-sized map, so, you know, we're going to be out here a little bit longer. The battles are only going to get tougher, so I think it makes sense to do that. Oh, we got something over here that's shiny. I don't know what's going on with that yet. Looks like we're officially getting to an area where we're going to need to look at the next level of drill strength. So we don't want to spend too much time just drilling around and not making progress for it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do one buff there. I think that we are going to go ahead and do the drill strength. We need it. And let's see, we've got our stun gun now as well. And that is over here. Stun laser activates even when you are not inside the control station. They must know that I have a tough time with just timing overall. Creates a stun blast around the target monster that stuns nearby monsters with partial strength. Ew, I like this too. Oh, I like both of these. All right, we'll go with this one for now. It's a little bit more expensive and we have the resources. And look at how on time we are. Isn't that amazing? There's the stun laser. Love to see it. Look at that. Now, I don't think it does any damage to the monsters yet. But I think eventually... If we put enough points into it, we can maybe get it to that point where it's popping out some damage for us as well. You like a multi-function stun laser. All right. Yeah, I know we've talked about this in the comments sections previously. I am such a glutton for games that involve mining. There's just something so adventurous about it. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Those are good, too. Let's scroll up this way. Kind of checking out the surrounding area to see if we can pop more resources. Probably at that point where it's good to start looking at making our return trek. Let me see if I can grab one of those too. Yeah, we can make it. We can do it. We're going to get there in time. I know it said that route was faster, but... It's going to be okay. And our stun laser is going to help with our tardiness, I think. All right, stun laser, do your thing. Uh, before we pop this off, I wonder if we want to just grab some move speed. Let's do that. That'll help, too. Everything is kind of incremental. You know, the improvements that you do. But you get to this point where you're like, oh, wow, everything's starting to come together. I feel a lot stronger. That stun laser. Really happy with that. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay, let's come all the way down, and I think this time we're just going to focus a little bit more on retrieval. And then we'll look at the upgrades that we can get. Maybe we'll put uh, something else into the stun laser, or perhaps our engineer. Now, maybe we should look at more speed for the engineer now that we're getting a little bit further down. K. 
carry slow down. I mean, that could be good too. Okay, well, can't afford much right now. But we are cruising along. I'd say that this run is going pretty well. Just do a little bit more digging. And then we'll grab what we have over here. All right, all right. We're gonna follow the designated path this time too. Gonna be good. Good students. All right. There we are. There we are. Yeah, let's see what we got. So we've got seven. Not enough to do something for our engineer, but it would be enough. Firing stamina. The stun laser cools down faster and fires for longer. Or we could go movement speed. Now right, let's do that. And let's go ahead and battle. Wonderful. I'm gonna let the stun laser go and get that guy. And then I'm already over here to handle this guy. That that worked out really well. Alright, we are going to need to pop off some health if we can. Do we have the resource for it? We do. We do. Okay. Automated dome repair displays the current amount of stored resources and automatically repairs the dome during combat using your cobalt. I mean, that could be good. Why not, right? Let's live a little. Okay. Now, I kind of want to check over here again. I feel like there could be some additional resources closer to the surface that we could be bringing back here. Oh, there we go. Alright, maybe we've exhausted... Hey, here we go. And this is nice, too, because, again, it's close to the surface. And we can get it right back up there rather quickly. That's great. You know, we'll probably just fly right back down there, grab the remaining resources, turn them in, and then figure out what kind of upgrade we can grab for the engineer. Probably like to look at speeding him up a little bit more. Can we grab them all? Should be able to grab them all. There we go. Perfect! You know, the other night, I wrapped up the fall of House Usher. And I gotta tell you, what just an amazing show. All right. Let's do speed. And... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind putting some additional points into our stun laser as well. I, I like it. I think it provides quite the boon. So let's do that as well. And then we're ready to go to battle. Look at us. Look at us. Look at these guys. They can't even do anything. Oh, wow. It spotted a guy way out there. Oh, that was quite the volley. Wow. 
Uh, you can tell such a difference in the speed as well. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend The Fall of House Usher. What a show. If you're not familiar with Mike Flanagan's work, uh, the man is a genius. I would also recommend The Haunting of Hill House and some of his other work. He's just very good at what he does uh, with storytelling, and I think this show was eight episodes long. I, I binged it. I never got tired of it. Just loved it from start to finish. I highly recommend checking it out if you're into horror. Uh, it has its moments. I think that... It is gruesome in sections. But I wouldn't tell you that... You know, this is like some kind of a gore fest. That's not what they're going for here. It's more just terrifying the way people decision in their life and just yucky types of motivations. Ah, oh, we missed it by one. Okay, I want to wait for that. I want to wait for that. So let's have one more encounter. I think we'll be A-OK -okay here. If last time is any indication of that. Oh, you love seeing these guys slowed down by that stun. I think we're gonna nail this guy before he even gets here. Perfect! Okay. Well, things are going wonderfully. I still want to know what that shiny thing is. It seems like it's something, doesn't it? Now let's break this up a little bit more. And I say as long as we can, let's keep going this way. Oh, we've got something here. I, I'm not quite sure what that is either. But I suppose we should bring it back. How are we doing here? Oh, you know what? We've got... Well... That's probably what we want to stick with. Seven. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm excited to see what this thing does that we've got. It looks like a blood teardrop, doesn't it? Or like a red slime from Final Fantasy. Oh, it's like an egg of sorts. I don't know what that is. Oh, something, something's happening. All right, let's see if uh, we get some kind of indication of, of what that is or what that did. Let's go ahead with power two, and uh, I don't know. Increases how much damage the dome shield can absorb. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We haven't uh, upgraded the dome itself in a minute or two. I'm not sure what that is doing for us, so I don't know. Maybe uh, when we go back, I'll take a look again at everything that can be upgraded. Maybe something new showed up there. That has happened to me before where I'm looking through and I go, oh, okay. I didn't even know that was a thing that we could do. It was just something that, you know, I had picked up on one of the mining phases that opened up uh, a new capability. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Still learning the game. Okay, let's see if there is anything we want to do in here. Swivel head laser. Laser auto aims. That might be interesting to consider down the line. Um, firing stamina 2. I think we should continue to support what we're doing with the stun laser. I think it has earned its place. All right, so I'm not seeing anything additional here that has opened up with that egg thing 
that uh, arrived. So, well, we'll just keep playing and see what happens. All right. This guy is a little bit harder, but I don't want to see what kind of damage he can do when he shows up. Look at that stun laser just saving the day for us. Perfect. Now let's get right back down there and just jump on it. This is the nice thing about the medium play space. There's just a lot that you can search. Oh, look at that. You know, with Deep Rock Galactic Survivor not being out yet, we've got to find ample replacements for our mining and adventure needs. So, you know, you pop on Dome Keeper. Yeah, this this little jaunt is going to take a moment, but that's okay. That's okay. We got we got eight resources we're bringing up including a cobalt that'll help with the auto repair if we need it. Well, it looks like whatever that thing was, it, it hatched. Just flying around to see if it offered any additional prompts, but I, I don't see any. Okay. So let's do the carry strength. And looks like that's about all we're gonna be able to do this time, but that's definitely going to help with these bigger piles of gems that we're uncovering here. Now let's go over here. Keep digging out in this direction. Or not. Let's grab this and all of these and we'll head back. Gotta clear out this stuff that's in the way. I mean, now we're really soaring. This is great. Okay. Anything we want to do here? Let's just take a quick peek. I increase the power of the stun beam. Increase the stun blast size and strength. Let's do that. Okay, now we're playing with power. Oh, wow. Just grabbed that thing right out of the sky. Look at these big things. Holy moly. I just love the buildup of strength in this game. I, I like seeing it. And every time you come back, you're like, oh, wow, I'm that much faster now. I can drill that much better. This feels good. Cheers to you. You know, we've been talking a lot about intelligentsia coffee. Wow, no problem with that load. Okay. Look at that. I think we've got 11 of them. I've been talking a lot about Intelligentsia coffee lately. That's the roast that I've been enjoying. And, and we were able to affiliate with those guys. So there is a link in the description if you'd like to try some Intelligentsia coffee. They're a roaster actually out of uh, Chicago. And their coffee is quite good. 24 for power three. I wonder if that's worth waiting for. Maybe we could just do a small upgrade in the meantime. Stun strength. Yeah, let's do this one. And then we'll go right back down there. We've still got a ton of time. Now there's a link in the video description you can 
check their coffee out via that link if you'd like. And if you do end up buying some coffee, you'll be supporting the channel and the giveaways that we do. But I'm excited to tell you that I'm continuing to explore additional partnerships with coffee roasters. So we talk about coffee so damn much on the channel that, you know, it, it makes sense. And so I have added another coffee roaster that we've affiliated with now and uh, I'm going to order some of their coffee. It looks lovely. They have a very smoky. Whoa, 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 hold up. Got a very smoky roast that I've had my eye on. All right, we are close to the 24, so I'm going to I'm going to wait on that and that's what we're going to do. All right, let's not hit the buttons that fast. That's not working out too well. I love that the stun is a little bit of an AoE. That guy didn't even get a chance to attack. Wow. Living on the edge a little bit there. All right, let's clear more of this out. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a vein. There we go. You never know. So we'll be checking out another roaster soon, and I'll probably have more recommendations for you. That'll be fun. Okay, let's grab these. Grab that one, too. We'll just knock out some of this crap that's in the way. Wonderful. We're going to get some kind of passive upgrade here. Okay, produces blast charges for explosive mining. Carry them into the mines and release to detonate. Adds a probe to your suit, which triggered, which when triggered, sends out a pulse that reveals nearby resources. Must be recharged at the station under the dome. Yes. That sounds great. So that's going to point us right in the direction that we want to go. Still don't have the 24 yet, and I'd like to hold out for that. And do we have our charge here? I guess we do. I wonder how we fire that off. Oh, okay, hit F to emit a probe impulse. That's cool. All right, let's fire it off right over here. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Well, we are going to be in the money, folks. We're going to have that laser upgrade, no problem, at this point. Let's see how much we can grab here. All right, now it's now it's getting heavy. I can feel it. And we want to get back in time. I think we're actually going to have no problem getting back on time, so that's great. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of great TV and shows to watch right now. You know, I mentioned getting through the fall of House Usher. I'm looking forward to Big Mouth. I think they're on season seven of Big Mouth. Look at that, we've got 31. Let's do that. What is this last one? Dissolve projectiles. Hitting energy projectiles with the laser immediately dissolves them. Wow. Probably want to save these for an engineer upgrade next time. Let's go right into battle mode. Wow, look at the size of that beam. Holy smokes, you don't want to get hit with that. Alright, as long as the stun is moving over there, I'll wait. This laser is super powerful. You can barely move it when it's firing. That's the drawback, but it really is not too much of a drawback. Let's go ahead and recharge this. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, my wife and I really like the Big Mouth show. So, 
excited for that to come back. Let's go ahead and fire off our probe, shall we? Oh wow, nothing in the area? Well, that's what that thing's good for. Looks like we've got some resources over here that, uh, uh, the goat may have uh, forgotten. It's okay. It's all right. You know what? It happens. It happens. It's okay. I think we're going to need that next drill upgrade pretty soon, aren't we? Digging deep. I wish we had one more pip to be able to fire off that finder one more time. I guess it's not a finder. It's more of a probe, but you know, it's kind of a finder probe. You know, it's a day off. I mean, sometimes the words, all the words aren't available on, on days off. It, it just is what it is. I think we're having a good run here, folks. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Let's bring these back. We are just cruising. Look at that. Okay. Let's see if there's anything we want to grab before this encounter. No, I think we're going to hold off for an engineer upgrade unless there's something cheap for our stunner. I don't know if there's going to be or not. I don't think we need that. I, I could see, I could see a business case for this. Couldn't you? Or even perhaps this. Deals damage to all monsters in the stun blast. Yes, okay. I mean, you don't have to twist my arm too hard on the stun laser. Holy cow, we're just melting these guys. Look at that! And yeah, you can barely move it. Look at that when it's firing off. I know I should have should have stopped firing it, but I needed to know. Oh, we gotta get our pip. We gotta we gotta recharge our pip. Okay. Do that recharge. Perfect. Alright, now. I don't know. Do we wanna go off this way? We haven't really explored over here too much. And I'm thinking that, you know, we could run into a vein that is, you know, a little bit closer to surface. Maybe we don't need that drill upgrade right away. Let's go ahead and fire this off. Wow. Okay. Not much in the area, according to the old probe. Maybe we'll take a look down here. Jeezy creasy. Really need that drill upgrade at this point. Well, this will help with that. Oh boy, okay. All right, come on. You can do it. You can do it. All right. One more. Okay. Let's take as much of this back as we can. We've got to let loose one of these at least. All right, well, we're going to be able to upgrade the drill for sure. I know, I know, I know. I, I, I don't want to let any of these go. It'll be okay. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We got a lot of cobalt. If we need to heal, we've got the capability to do that. Let's just take a look here. Let's see if there's anything we want to do. I'm thinking we go with the drill, and that leaves five 
Do we want to look at our stunner? Ooh, look at this. What's this? Increase the damage dealt to monsters caught in the stun blast. Three damage per second. Let's do it. Why not? We gotta live a little. We gotta live a little. I mean, you can you can hear the noise that that thing's making. It it means that we mean business here. We do. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Now this is supposed to up our health when we need it automatically. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that anyways while we're thinking about it. Okay, let's get down there. Let's uh, let's grab our little pulse wave pip and let's do the thing. Slight change in music there for a second. I don't hate it. Wow. Boy, that is that's that's a no-go at this point. We're gonna need the additional upgrade to the drill before we go doing that. Let's fire off our pulse. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we got something good looking over here. Ooh. And these are the ones that don't take an hour. So that's that's great to see too. Now it looks like this circuit is connected to something else. All right, I think we want to grab some of this stuff, take it back at this point. Come on. We should have time. But I know a lot of you don't trust me uh, about that anymore. Because I've said that a bunch of times. Oh, we should have time. It'll be fine. And then we're just, like, barely scraping by to make it there. That's right. The goat likes to live dangerously in Dome Keeper, turns out. We've got armor. And I got a little bit of health back. That's okay. It's it's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's uh, just take a quick gander here. We're still munching up the. Okay. I think. Ooh, installs a second laser turret. Ooh. But we're not gonna do that. We're not going to do that. But we are going to do this. No, we're not. We don't. We can't. We can't. Yet. The stun blast grows bigger with every new monster entering it. Wow. Okay. There's still some good looking stuff. Looks like we can put some points into the probe as well. The probe now also detects caves. I didn't even know caves were a thing. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and battle it out. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we can confirm that the auto heal does indeed work. Wonderful. Uh, let's just double check here. Is there anything we can do for our engineer or want to do? We probably want to do this. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Oh, recharge the pip. Okay. And I think we're going to head right down this way. Where we were working before. 
know there's stuff going on over here already. And I think we'll go ahead and keep digging in this direction here. When we get a little bit further down, I'll go ahead and fire off the probe. Hey, look at this. What do we got here? This looks substantial. Could be the artifact. Uh, it might be. Let's go ahead and fire off the probe. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. This is all really tough stuff to drill for us in our current stats. So uh, let's grab this stuff. Whoops. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're going to grab this and these and this, and then we are swinging right back up. Look at the speed now. Tremendous. Okay. I want to take a quick look in here while our machine munches that stuff up. And uh, boy, oh boy. You know... Are you thinking stun laser? Because I'll tell you what, I sure am. In fact, I want that thing. But I'd also settle for this, because that's basically doubling the speed. Let's do it. You know we got to do it. We got to do it. Okay. We are ready. We are ready. Let's do it. Right in the middle here. I know, I see the big flying guy. Let's go get him. That stun laser, just moving that much faster, it's great. Wow, the good little volley. I'm still enjoying Naked and Afraid. I know we're talking a little bit about TV that's being enjoyed here and there. Still loving Naked and Afraid. I just think it's so cool what those people do. And, you know, I don't think I'd ever find myself in a situation where I would need to use any of the stuff that I feel like I'm learning from these folks, just watching them being out there. But you never know. You never know. I, I think it's it's cool information to just have way back deep in the cockles of my brain, you know? I think we need to uncover this wire path so that that electricity can flow through. I think we've got to do the same over here. And it looks like there's another cord heading in this direction. Something should be over this way, I'm thinking. Maybe. Ah, there's another piece of it. Ah, I think we're coming into something here. Oh, wow. That was... Okay. That was fast. Um, come on. There we go. All right. We are heading straight up. Let's get rid of some of this crap in the way. You know I've got to do it. Uh, the other day I watched these two people that were so excited about this aloe plant that they had found. You know, aloe, like the stuff that you rub on a cut or a burn. Oh, they were very excited because they hadn't eaten for, you know, four or five days. 
and they're gonna eat this aloe. And I'm watching this going, wait a second, edible aloe, I've, okay, I mean, all right. Uh, if you say so, I mean, these are the folks that would know. And of course, the narrator starts talking and uh, saying, "Oh yeah, you know, uh, aloe. It's it's a it's a thing that you can eat." And so I'm going, "Oh wow, I've never even thought of aloe that way." But but here we are, you know. So these two just start munching away on aloe, and uh, you're watching, going, "Huh? I I wonder how this is all gonna pan out." Well, they ate a bunch of aloe, and uh, apparently this was not the type of aloe that you want to eat because it was laden with another type of substance that doesn't agree. So moments later, uh, they're starting to have tunnel vision, they're starting to get dizzy, their stomachs are not feeling great. You know, the problem is if you let go of all the water that you were able to put in that day, um, you've really moved backwards, you know? Really have. And, all right, can we carry this? Oh, wow, look at us. Can we get one more, a couple more? I can always let go of them if it's too heavy, but it, it looks like this is going okay. I'm just going to open this up a little bit so that we can get these resources through. Ow! Oh. Yeah, if you if you pull on them too much, you'll lose them. All right, this will this will be good. This will be good. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So they got really sick. They got really, really sick. It was, it was too bad. Uh, eventually, they did recover, which was good to see. Okay, you know what? I had my eye on this, and we've got the resources for it. Area growth per monster. I think it's interesting. Let's do it. Stun laser's been good for us. I'm gonna let that guy focus on that. We're gonna just go ahead and start blasting this gigantic, crazy looking thing over here and hope for the best. There we go. These baddies are gonna start to get super nasty. I think, so. We are probably gonna want to go back to working on this chip discovery. All right, so that's good. Now, this is interesting because I would have thought that the chip would be powered up by now. Maybe I've just got to get rid of this. Oh, okay, it needed to be turned on. I got it. Okay, let's turn this one on. Okay, hey, there we go. Perfect. There it is, folks. We've got the artifact. It's always kind of a happy sad for me, if I'm being totally honest with you, because I love the game. And I'm glad that we're going to, you know, have a win here, but that means it's going to end the run. It's a happy set. I, I really enjoy this game. Okay. Let's look at any other final possibilities that we can grab here. I think Probably we should do this. Yeah, let's let's go do that and uh, overcharge shield. Well, we don't have any of those types of resources anymore. So 
I think that's gonna do it. Oh gosh, okay. Let's go for this guy first. I don't know if he's got like a shield on or what's happening. Oh, now his shield's gone. Oh my goodness. So just to be absolutely clear, and if you know, please weigh in. I think that's a win. Even though we appear to have lost in that final wave, it's kind of unclear to me because it says your dome is saved and we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. So it appears to be a win. Let's go ahead and unlock a new element here. Sword dome, a new dome, experimental dome with a powerful sword that requires mastery, but can easily dominate even the strongest assailants. I would like to do that, and then next time around, we'll play with the Sword Dome. Because you know there's going to be a next time around, damn it. <laughs> Alright. Hey folks. This is a game called Dome Keeper, and it's awesome. And the dev that works on this game is awesome as well. Uh, there have been lots and lots of updates along the way. I believe a two-player mode is coming. That will be amazing. I will have to find someone out there to play two-player Dome Keeper with me. It's going to be it's going to be quite a romp. So, let's do this again sometime. Let's get together, let's play a roguelike or a roguelite. Is that's so we do every time on this channel and it's it's a ball it's a ball I'm, I'm so glad that i've got your support i'm glad you enjoy hanging out here every time this community grows it feels like a new door has opened you know we've added coffee affiliates it's awesome you know we talk about it so damn much it makes sense to do it so uh check out some intelligentsia coffee if you'd like i will talk more about the uh, other coffee company, probably next week. I've got to order a bag and try it myself. There's a really good smoky dark roast that I'm looking at. Uh, I really like dark roasts. Anyways, I won't talk your ear off about that. Uh, and you know what? In addition to playing a roguelike and a roguelite uh, each time, we'll do a giveaway at least once a week. Because we can do those now too. Speaking of doors that have opened up. Uh, you all have enabled lots of giveaways this year. We're going to do a hundred of them. And uh, next year, we'll figure out how to do something even cooler than that. We'll just continue making it bigger and bigger. All right. You have a great one out there. We'll see you next time. Be well. <laughs>